Today, you guys, we are going to be checking out an avatar trick that Roblox really doesn't want us to do. This video is about avatar face tricks, right? We are going to be focusing on the classic Roblox face. You guys know what this is. I have a few really cool ones to show you. I did notice one thing, though, about the face that I'm about to show you how to do tricks with. A few weeks ago, every single UGC creator that tried to sell this face was told to take it off sale. So it's a bit strange. I guess Roblox reached out to them directly or something, maybe via emails. It's kind of odd. Like Roblox are fine with a lot of copies like big heads, fake limiteds, fedoras, valkyries, stuff like that. However, the classic Roblox face, they don't want us to use it. Let me just prove to you quickly. So this one, right? It got hardly any sales. The classic face in light yellow. It was taken off sale very, very quickly. Even this one, the classic smiley face. I know Team Gamer Force was banned from UGC, but even so, this face went off sale when they were still like allowed and everything. A similar transparent one went off sale. So this one was from EV1. This version as well, the classic face in yellow, it was not allowed. Even one where the colors were inverted, the sort of black and white one. Roblox didn't allow this to be sold. Classic faces with bands on as well to look like actual masks. Roblox said you can't sell them. Yeah guys, you're probably noticing a pattern here. It's very difficult to get the 2006 classic Roblox face. But I'm going to show you guys a cheat, a sort of like secret trick on how to get it. This accessory right here is the only 2006 classic face which is still on sale and honestly it's only half of the face it's the mouth only this is all i could find i really wanted to make a video about how to make a 2006 avatar but it's more difficult than i expected anyway this is from blaze ugc and these guys have uploaded loads of them you can actually see in the description uh, they used face png and 2006 to 2008 face so it's definitely like the og one i'll link this down below for sure because it literally has every single one it's actually got two versions. They've got like a slightly less retro one and then they have like a more retro one. Honestly, the more retro one is probably my favorite, but yeah, I'm gonna choose one of these. I think I'm probably gonna go with yellow. Actually, maybe not. I'll go with the um, sort of light yellow because that's what the like really classic avatars used to have. It's only 25 Robux, so let's go and buy this. There you go. I've got to set my avatar as R6 though. It just wouldn't look right if it was R15. We're making a really old avatar today. Then on the skin tone, I think it's, oh yeah, you have to click on advanced, right? And then it's this color right here. So I'm just gonna do the head and obviously the arms as well. And obviously what you can do is combine the retro mouth mask and your character is gonna look very, very old. Now you may be noticing the eyes are not perfect. And yeah, I've got to be honest, that is true. However, guys, if you have Roblox faces, which of course you do, head and body, then go into classic faces, there is something really awesome you can do, right? You can make your own classic Roblox faces. Error while Oh god, Robux has gone down. No. Okay, I think it's working. So see what I mean? Look how cool that is. You can make your own custom face by selecting classic faces on top of this mouth mask. And you can make some like really interesting looking characters. If you guys are after like the really old sort of Roblox face, I would recommend using the stare face because the eyes on that one are kind of classic looking. So when it loads in, you can see it looks very good. Kind of looks like a HD version of the classic avatar. I like that a lot. But if you have any other faces, like it's go time, was and that one they used in like the uh, baller meme or something. You can see it looks pretty cool. Concerned that that one would also look good. So there you are. That looks kind of insane. But yeah, you can literally go through and find any face and the chances are it will look really awesome. I think I just found the most cursed face ever. The classic winning smile. If you have the better Roblox plugin, it's really useful because you can instantly select any of these faces and you could go through the entire list until you find one you like the look of. That one looks kind of funny. I would say the faces that are like a bit better quality. Maybe the faces from like, I don't know, 10 years ago. They seem to look a bit better. That one looks cool. No way. Look at this one. 53 Robux. I've got to buy that. That's so funny. Now let's add some new classic accessories and I guess we can try this guy inside of an old Roblox game. Let's play the Teapots of Doom because this is like a really classic game. I used to always play this actually. It's really fun. So there we are and this is what it looks like in games. It's pretty cool. The classic Roblox face. Well, I guess this is sort of like my own modified version it's not really accurate to the 2006 one, of course, but I like it. There's only one thing I would say in some games when you get very close to the character, you can see like a slight sort of outline, I guess you could call it. To be fair, I don't really notice this in R15. It more shows up in R6 games, I think because of like the shadows or something. So that's one thing to keep in mind, but most of the time you wouldn't notice it. This accessory does seem to fit very well. Obviously, it works best with the normal Roblox head. And yeah, there we are. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like 
like, subscribe if you want to. Cheers for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.